Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Hi, friends. Today we are back on the last day of the year with our book living stream. And if we go and look at all the messages that we have received in this week, we will know that we are being asked to look into ourselves. And again today, Paul, Apostle Paul, in chapter 29, let us serve, is telling us, serve willingly, as if you were serving the Lord and not men. And then Emmanuel is kindly saying to us, if you legislate, but then do not abide by the law according to the designs of the Lord, who considers the needs of all. You are walking on the edge of a dangerous abyss that you have dug with your enormous creation. Without reaping the benefits of your glorious mission in society, if you administrate, but then do not bear in mind the interests of the Lord on the pathway, on which you work as a steward of life, you run the risk of buying your heart in dark desires without reaping the fruit of the functions you perform in the public ministry. If you judge your neighbor but do not model yourself after the Lord, who knows all the details and circumstances of every lawsuit in court, then you may face the possibility of failing spectacularly in the same hall, sorry, falling spectacularly in the same hall as those you have hastily judged. Without the benefits from the gifts of wisdom that judges maintain in your mind, wherever you work with colors or marble, with words or songs, I do not bring the love and the light of the Lord into your work as you should. Then you are assuming the huge responsibility of those who produce the wrong sort of images for the um, popular consumer mind. Thus, you miss out on the glory that could enrich your thinking. If you are supposed to obey others in order to be useful to the world, but you do not do so with the spirit of understanding as taught by the Lord, who helps people and love them even to the point of personal sacrifice. Then you are living amid the ghost of indis- indiscipline and discouragement without fulfilling the divine light of the talent that lies in your hands. Dear friend, the time you have on the earth is a sublime learning experience. Work is always the instructor of spiritual growth. Let us serve without attachment. In every place in the human valley, there are resources for improvement and action for those who want to evolve. Let us serve willingly wherever we may be, as if we were serving the Lord and not merely other people, and he will lead us to the higher realm of life. What a beautiful chapter to end and to begin the new year. In this chapter, let us serve. Emmanuel is asking us to serve. And he's explaining it so beautifully in this chapter. He's telling us to look into ourselves and to model of the Jesus. And especially now when everybody is... Um, making New Year resolutions, I think it's a good thing that we make our resolutions not on material things, but on spiritual things. To look into ourselves more and see where we can do, where we can change more. And every day, there is an opportunity for us to learn more about ourselves and then also to serve more. Are we modeling Jesus if we look at our thoughts, at our words, the way we are 
by why we speak to one another. The, the love that we admit or not admit. Do we really serve one another? And that is the question that we should ask ourselves today. And then we have to start the new year and we have to serve more. There is plenty of opportunity, dear friends, to serve in this day. In prayer, let's serve in prayer. Be useful to one another. Even if you go through the media and there is plenty of opportunities for us to pray and to help one another. I thank you and my wishes for every soul is that we would have a wonderful new year, not in the sense of material stuff, but in the sense of mentally um, being accepted, accepting of what God wants us to do and where we want, um, need to change as well. And especially um, not changing our situations per se, but our perception, perception of what is um, happening in our lives. And looking at it, not in spite or in um, to be sorry about anything, to say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for the lessons. But don't let this cup that is sometimes giving to us, being given to us, let, let it not pass us by. Let us drink from it. And let us not be asleep, but awake. Beloved friends, I wish you a wonderful new year and I hope to see each and every one of you soon. Thank you so much.